been a long time since pop-up markets have had a chance to shine and show off small businesses. But for the first time this weekend, one of them returned to Chicago. Sean Lewis takes us there. In Ravenswood, the line grew outside a market made for makers. And while masks are required here, there is no covering up the enthusiasm for those here. I'm just happy to be back in front of my customers. Danielle Schultz is among the nearly 60 vendors here of all stripes, mostly local, and finding their footing as businesses open back up. It's been a very, very long year. So many festivals and fairs have been canceled, and I'm just thrilled that we have the opportunity to be in person and I get to see all of my pieces on people. This market inside the Artifact event space is one of the first indoor markets to take root since the pandemic shut so much down. Capacity is still limited to 60% and vendors have more space to spread out and grow. Lots and lots of plants. We've got low light plants, bright light plants, low maintenance plants, pet safe plants, runs the whole gamut. The studio from Pilsen brought out these plants of all varieties as more people got into being pet parents during the pandemic. I think because everybody was stuck at home, they suddenly realized that they wanted to bring some life into their space and what better to do it than a bunch of greenery. Upstairs, it was time for tea. We have our ginger teas and ginger lemonades that we fresh brew every day. The Roseland couple behind Tea Fusion started their business during the pandemic and brewed up a success. So a lot of people have been concerned about what we're actually in our food. So we only use all natural ingredients. We use all fresh fruits, we use green tea, raw sugar, and we use ginger root. Our body need anything that's from the earth is good for our body to help fight off inflammation. Being able to showcase their products in person helps. Being in sitting out in the house for almost a year is more so. <laughs> Coming out and uh, meeting new people and seeing people out like this is, is actually pretty good. So I hand make all of my pieces. For Danielle, it's very good as the pandemic forced her to ask for help for the very first time in her working career. And she's glad to be back. Fairs and festivals make up about 60% of my business. So this year has been pretty devastating to a lot of artists. And I know that. Um, you know, we've had a lot of government help, we've had a lot of, uh, you know, local help, but there's nothing like being in person in front of customers. And now that Chicago's opening up again, we finally have the opportunity to do what we do. In Ravenswood, Sean Lewis, WGN News. The market is back at the end of June. You can find more information at marketsformakers.com.